All right, I'm here with Greenwood Head basketball coach Kenneth Harris, his team of winner tonight, 75-45 to 45 over the Woodside Wolverines in the 11th annual VirginiaPreps.com basketball classic to move to 12-3 and three overall. Coach, we weren't sure we were going to get it in, but you guys got off to a fast start, um, lightning fast start, 38-point lead at one point in this game. Um, you prevailed by 30. Uh, probably couldn't have played much better. Uh, you know, we couldn't play much better today. I mean, first of all, hats off to um, – uh, my uh, Green Run administration in Virginia Preps, I mean, you guys, Matt Hatfield and uh, Shannon Drury, y'all came together and uh, really put something together for us because with that snow, you, you can't question what goes on with weather. So, but uh, first off, I want to, uh, you know, with Mr. Tarkenton and allowing us and allowing uh, Virginia Preps to have it here, I really appreciate that from the Green Run program. But to the game, um, I mean, we couldn't ask for a better start, especially Ashley James coming and, and playing the way he did today. We hadn't been seeing this all year, really, from him. Um, I mean, although he's averaging 20, but this was a solid and consistent 20. We shot 11 for 15, which is, um, I mean, that's a, a good game. If we can get that out of Ashley James on a normal, a regular basis, we're going to be tough to beat. Yeah, it's, it's weird to say that he doesn't have this type of out, but he scores a lot. But the efficiency, as you mentioned, 11 of 15, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. And then to play that well in 28 minutes and not turn the ball over is amazing, isn't it? Oh, man, it's, it's very amazing to know that Ashley James didn't have, AJ didn't have but, uh, no turnovers. I mean, that's been a, a, a bug, killer bug for us. He had a big turnover in the Cox game. One thing about AJ, he doesn't let nothing get to him. He came in practice, we were watching film on it, and, and he was he knew that he made a mistake. And all week we were focusing on correcting our mistakes, and he also was focusing on his shot. So he looked, he, he you know, he really worked on it. And as a team, you know, we only had uh, let me see how many turnovers we had. We only had eight turnovers. Probably a season low, right? A season low, and I, and I really felt that uh, Woodside would press. They were going to be pressing, and I thought that that would bother us a little bit. But you know, our guy stepped up today. Yeah, for sure. You shot 66% in the first half and 52 and a half for the game. What would you, do, I guess, attribute the fast start start to? Would it be the fact that this is a showcase event, pretty good crowd? You had a loss in that game to Cox last time out in overtime. I know you had a nine-point lead in that one. What would you attribute it to why you guys got to the fast start? I mean, we got going early, uh, just hitting shots. I mean, we got out our fast break. We, we, you know, we are finishing layups and, and knocking down everything. I mean, just that, that, that loss – really focused us and it refocused. Sometimes, you know, I, I got a quote where you, you learn from losing, you know, you, you learn how to win from losing. So that's one thing we did this week and in, uh, in, in coming in, into practice, you know, we were really focused. Yeah, and, and chat with some people around your program and players that you weren't too happy about that loss. That was one that really stuck in your craw a little bit, right? Really did, really did. I, you know, I hate to lose, uh, especially beach games, man. But, you know, I mean, we got some good teams in the beach. So, you know, you got to come to play. And, you know, we've been battle-tested on the road, a lot of road games. So we were happy to be home, too. Your bench is going before our very eyes. You get uh, 10 points tonight from Bruce Griffin. He was 4-5. or five. Adrian Gills gives you 10 points. Elijah Kennedy, the super sophomore sub, playing well for his seven points. He's starting to make a name for himself slowly but surely. Um, are you pleased with the progress from the reserves right now? Um, I love the way the reserves are playing. And we're getting solid minutes from Adric and uh, and Bruce, man. And they, they, Bruce is Devontae, which they, they are, I told him at halftime, man, we, we need that every day. Malachi is, is him and George are really – Playing minutes, uh, switching and, and playing well. They played well on their big today too, and uh, you know Elijah. He just, I mean, he just loved playing the game. Mm -hmm. Lastly, for you, I know you've been harping on the word consistency for for quite a few years now, as you guys are trying to break down that door in the postseason and get to the state tournament. Can this be a step towards that? And what's your thoughts of this team, which you know has a headline player in James, but really a lot of underclassmen beyond that? Yeah, I mean, you know, as long as we keep working, you know, we only had two guys that's really been had varsity experience, and these next two weeks for us, because we don't play until the next Friday, so it's important because we have to get better. We have to stay in this gym, you know, a lot of individual work as a team. You know, we got to get better, and um, with these five eight conference games coming up, I mean, it's gonna, you know, we gotta we gotta really be ready to go. Well, a long layoff might be good for the Stones as the weather has been inclement lately. They get a victory tonight in the Virginia. Press Classic, and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much. All right, appreciate it.